Hey guys, this is the Adobe Wizards with the second part of the button tutorial. Uh, now in this tutorial, we'll be uh, editing the hit frame inside the button to make the button more complex. Now from the uh, the beginning tutorial of the button, we, uh, we created our normal button that functions well and it plays our animation then goes back to it. Uh, to begin editing the, e uh, the hit frame, we have to double click our button to go inside of it, go to the hit frame, and delete the old uh, figure that you had for your button. Now inside there, draw uh, a shape or anything you guys want. So I'll go ahead and draw a rectangle. Now select the rectangle or whatever shape you drew and copy it. Now we're going to have to paste that inside down, over, and up. So after you copy it, you go to down, and then you press Control shift v to paste in place. Go to over, do the same thing, and the same thing on up. Next thing we, uh, we got to do is go to scene 1 and test it out. Now, uh, when you test it out, if you uh, roll your mouse over the the old button that you had, nothing's going to happen. Even if you click on it, nothing happens. Now try going over the new figure that you draw. Now the old button changes and then try clicking on it and it's going to play your animation. Now that's what the hit frame does actually. Uh, it's a part of the button where that's the clickable part. The other thing is just an image. So for example, you can put text inside here saying click and then when you go over it, it's going to say you're getting closer. When you click and hold, it's going to say you're there and then when you release, it's going to play your animation. Now, I know this is a short tutorial, but uh, I just felt like you guys had to know this because it's pretty important if you want to uh, have cool buttons because... Uh, it's a really important component because you can for example hide the pink and make it for example white or the color of your background so that uh, the people that are playing your animation or playing your game whatever you made just let me show you it's hidden so that they have to actually find so that they can go on so now that it's all white when you test movie it there's nothing there and the only clickable part is right here at this place so they have to go and hunt for it and then look where it is and then they got it and then they can continue well guys thank you for watching once again uh, you guys have to really actually go to our website and then register and uh, make some uh, suggestions on what we should do or what we should improve on what tutorials you guys want to see uh, well I guess that's it guys. Thank you for watching.